oh today is thursday you guys sorry about that i'm skipping days excited for the weekend i don't know why babies be, will be home this weekend so i guess that's why but oh it's wednesday happy thursday <laughs> oh my gosh i just can't get it right i cannot get it right but good morning everyone it is still early it's about 10 30 right now and um i just came downstairs i'm about to make me some coffee open up the blinds but i was watching um a video from yesterday well. oh, yeah, um nice. angie and i yeah. i had so much fun with her yesterday it's always fun hanging out with angie we laugh so much talk about everything and um yeah it's just fun so um, i was just watching the video i normally do that like in the mornings and at night i catch up on my little videos and channels that i like to watch as well and um so i'm gonna drink some coffee and kind of lay around for a minute and finish finish watching um my video that i was already watching and um then i'm gonna take pictures of what i did last night and then you guys should have seen those already because i did take a um you know clip of you know i did make a clip of the, the the little cheats that i did yesterday or last night and yeah once well, let me see my cookies should be dry yep they're dry now so yeah i'm gonna take pictures of those and share them on my um social media and um i'm not really doing much today maya has a orthodontics appointment this afternoon and um Babe, babe did say he was gonna be home tonight so i'm excited but i'm not too excited because i'm sure it'll be late late night but i'm still excited when he says babe i'll see you tonight i get so happy you guys and so tickled you know but anyways that's what's going on with me looks kind of gloomy outside um it may rain we've been getting rain here and there the other day it poured down rain like poured really 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 hard georgia's weather is crazy you guys but i love it because when we lived in california we lived in the desert we lived used to live in the high desert um i don't know if you guys are familiar with victorville hesperia apple valley that was the area where we lived off the 15 freeway and um it was just hot and then it would be just cold and you didn't get a lot of rain so i appreciate the rain here that we do get um so yeah um what else hold on i always got to put the camera down so i can open this blind here because the little uh string is kind of high so i'll be right back all right so i'm back got my coffee going i'm about to grab my creamer and um get that all ready you guys and find me a nice comfortable spot on the couch and watch some court tv you guys watch that i like watching like court tv paternity court all of that crazy crazy stuff it'd be funny to me you guys so that's my what they call it ratchet tv um shows that i like to watch and um some of the other shows i haven't been I, I don't really watch tv like that anymore like youtube has taken over my life so i don't get to really sit down and watch tv like the bet awards did you guys watch the bet awards i missed it i didn't even know the bet awards was um coming on i didn't know that it was time for the bet awards because i'm not on tv i'm not i mean i'm just so in my own world i guess I don't know uh, what's going on with TV. And I don't even like watching the news. You guys watch the news? I know it's good to watch it to know what's going on. But um, I'm not interested in the news. Like, I don't, I don't, mm -mm. I'd be scared. And then my husband's not home, so i really be scared, you know, watching the news and then being by myself. And, you know, I just pray and, um, ask god to protect me from whatever it is and i don't know 
clean here, you guys. That's all. I think my children have plans today. I don't know what. They were talking about a um, paint in the park with um, a couple of their friends. They're gonna be painting canvas pictures. They have a D, um, not a DIY, but maybe a, it's called a summer bucket list that they found on Pinterest. So they have like a bunch of little things that they're doing for the summer. Um, they've already had like a little barbecue. That's the day that I went over there. They had it all decorated and you know, had the table with candles and the food like it was nice that was a cute little friend thing and I thought it was nice that they invited me um so I went for a little while and then um they went to a baseball game that was on their bucket list um the paint in the park is another bucket list thing and then um something else just a few other things that they have planned so I thought it was really really cute but um yeah i'm like at least they have a life they're like mom i'm so glad you're going with angie you're always in the house i'm like i'll get out you know i don't go out and hang out a lot with people i don't but i get out and do what i need to do come home and i'm so used to being with my husband even though he he drives trucks but the thing is we used to have the daycare so he didn't have to go as much and he was home a lot a lot more so we were able to do a lot together and we were always together so it's like i don't even want to do nothing without him like i'd be like i'm gonna just stay home i don't have anybody to really you know do stuff with like that you know what i mean so i just just kind of stay around enjoy my house like today i look forward to not having much to do i don't mind that my kids be like mommy to get out the house for what so anyway you guys that's it that's all um yeah so i'm gonna sit here for a minute watch um oh, my phone is still in the kitchen i'm gonna watch my um video and watch some TV and then I'll do whatever else I'm gonna be doing for today. I'll figure it out. I wanna make some shirts. Um, I haven't done that, but I have some thoughts in my head about what kind of shirts I wanna make. So I'll probably start doing something like that today. So many things I wanna do. I have like, I don't know, my brain just moves a lot. I, I get all of these ideas in my head and I wanna do them all, but you know, I do what I can when I can. So today I'll dedicate it to making a shirt. Every day I got to do something to keep my mind busy. But anyways, I'll check back in with you guys in a few. Turn some fans on around here. And let this air circulate. And watch my TV. And enjoy. And enjoy my coffee. I don't know why she feel like she got to get coffee. <laughs> you out in public. My mommy's buying some edge control. She's got herself some edge control. We're at our dentist appointment. Show you pearly white. <laughs> I made my shirt, you guys. I made a shirt today for me to wear. Mm -hmm. My hair was cute like this. Mm hmm. It was cute. How was it? In a ponytail. <laughs> she really making her some coffee. Like, like, cream, huh? like she grown. <laughs> Creamer and everything. That's funny. Mm -hmm. made it home and I'm getting ready to cook some dinner. I haven't cooked dinner in a while. I feel like, well I have cooked but nothing like big. I made, I've made little things. So today I'm just going to make some um, turkey wings. I got some turkey wings today from Walmart and I'm going to make some yellow rice 
and some vegetables haven't done that in a while oh you guys my box made it to california and a few of them did get smashed not too bad but um it was like out of 65 um that was 65 pieces that were in the box only um 11 were um broken like the pretzels and five 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 cake pops and then um e um six pretzels were bad so out of the whole box like she said out of the entire box like it did really good so she was happy she thanked me she was grateful and um yeah so i can breathe now you guys that box made it and i am happy so um the girls is at um catherine's house because um you know my catherine is maya's little friend she's moving tomorrow so maya was crying today you guys and i'm like no don't cry and that's what i was trying to explain like you know when you have friends especially when you're young like they move their parents have to move you have to be with your parents so you can't really pick and choose you know it just kind of you got to roll with it and then um hopefully they can stay in contact and continue their friendship you know and maybe you still see one another but she's really sad i'm like oh maya don't cry so she's over at her house today you can see like the little pods are outside and it is sad but i wasn't expecting maya to be that sad to where she's crying like she's crying like she's been tearing for a while now let me see if i can put the camera down and still talk to you guys my head is cut off look oh well, at least you guys can see my shirt but did you pray did you pray that's the shirt i made today I, i'm gonna start um making these to sell so if you guys want to buy one let me know um i can ship these this won't be a problem but i've always wanted to start a little t-shirt business that's why my husband bought me the the heat press and my little cricket so i can do i do all kind of stuff you guys like i said my little brain be all over I like doing a lot of things. That's why sometimes when, I don't know if you guys ever figured out like what's your purpose in life. Um, I be trying to figure it out because I'm like, Lord, what is my purpose? Like I'm confused because there's a lot of things that I really enjoy doing. A lot of things, I like home decor. I like baking. I like DIYing stuff, you know. Um, redoing furniture painting i love helping people it's a lot of things that i absolutely find joy doing but i just i'm like lord what, what is my purpose like what am i supposed to be doing in this little life like i want to be able to do what what god created me to do but i find joy in a lot of things it's funny i'm just a creative person arts and crafts was definitely my favorite subject in school and um, I used to have wood shop. That was like one of my electives. And that was like a super fun class for me. Like I couldn't wait to go to like wood shop class and just use the machines, the saws, the sanding machines, all of that type of stuff. That was really fun for me. So I don't know you guys, but I'm figuring it out. Um, hold on you guys getting all my little seasonings what do you guys season your meat with I'm using some Lowry seasoning salt and I have some I'm all out I have some um, Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning I like to use this for like chicken and I've been I'm very generous with this because it's not really salty but it just has a lot of flavor so I use a lot of that and a little bit of garlic salt because <coughs> ooh, because I don't want to um, make it too salty a little bit of that and 
black pepper. But also what I do is um, with my turkey wings, I add Lipton soup, um, you know the one that comes in the pack. It's like a box with two packs inside. I normally use that, and um, I'm gonna just use the chicken broth, and then I'm gonna put cream of chicken on top to have like a little gravy to it, and that's gonna be dinner, you guys. So I'm gonna put it in this little pan here. I think I wanna. Line it with foil just on the bottom. Of the I don't know why I like to line my stuff with foil. I think because it helps out with like the cleaning process. So yeah, I'm just gonna put those like in in here. Put them all in the pan. Now, how do you guys clean your chicken? I've seen a debate on Facebook. I seen a debate on fa either Facebook or Instagram. And they were talking about um, how do you clean your chicken? Do you clean your chicken in the sink? Do you clean it in the bowl? Like some people were like, cleaning your chicken in the sink is disgusting, it's gross, it's nasty. And to be honest with you, that's the way I've always seen my family or in, I've never seen anybody take the chicken and put it in a bowl. I've never experienced someone doing that. Um, obviously, if you clean your chicken in the sink, your sink is clean. Like my sink is clean the same way my bowls are clean. I'm not going to put food that we're eating in anything that's dirty or, you know, that's going to um be contaminated by something like that's gross but your sink is like you do a lot in your sink um and i feel like your sink is a part of your cooking utensils like people use their sink to like soak greens um at least that's the people that i've always seen like in my household my grandmother my mom my aunt um, even people outside of the family, I've seen them do the same thing the same way. So I guess that's why that's how I do it. But let me know in the description box or the comment area how you guys do it. Do you use a bowl or do you use your sink? Either way, I think it's fine as long as they're both clean. <laughs> I think that should matter. So anyways, that's that. Um, so I'm gonna get a onion and bell pepper to add on top. I'm gonna cut that up. Put that on top. Uh-oh. I got um, a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper that I'm gonna put on top and then um, onion. And then I'm gonna let that cook for a little while and then once that cooks for maybe 30 minutes, I'm gonna um, add my um, soup, cream of cream of um, chicken and um, chicken broth. I mix it together before I pour it over everything. And um, yeah, I might add a few dollops of butter. Um, to the mixture. I was looking for my small cutting board. So, yeah, but I'm glad, very, very glad to know that that box is there. I can definitely breathe because I was like thinking about that all day and night. Like, Lord, please let it make it. And it did. So, I'm hopeful for that. But, anyway. Let me just cut up some of this. And then after I um, put this in the oven, I'm gonna go sit back down on my couch and probably watch um, 
What time is it? It's 5.01. I'm gonna watch um, Family Feud. I love watching Family Feud. Oh, also today I went to the store and got the little stuff that I needed for Angie and I's um, collab um, that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing like 4th of July treats, easy DIY 4th of July treats um, that you guys can make for uh, your family or to take to like a barbecue or a cookout, you know, for the 4th of July. Easy, easy things that you can do um, for the holiday. So I'm excited about that because y'all know I love stuff like that. So getting ready to do that. I got all of the stuff that I need for that video. So I'm good with that. I'm just needing to record it because it's gonna go up on Sunday. So, but yes, you guys, um, once I'm done cutting all of this up, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll let you see it, but I'll just finish cutting this up because I know I'm probably boring you guys right about now. And I don't want to do that. So, I'll be back. All right, you guys. So, there it is. I added some butter seasoned it um, my vegetables on top now i'm just getting ready to add or just um put the foil over it so that i could um put it in the oven and then i'll come back and put the cream of chicken and the chicken broth over it and let it cook all the way through all right you guys so dinner is ready and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like i'm getting ready to eat I didn't make any vegetables because the kids aren't here. I'm by myself and I'm just like, I'm ready to eat. I don't care. Just want to eat. Oh, well, here's dinner. I have turkey wings and yellow rice. Now, baby's supposed to come home, but he won't be here until about midnight or maybe one, one o'clock. So between 12 and one, he should be here. I'm getting ready to eat and call it a day, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.